Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 15. 15 in chapter 19. Chapter 19 is about heat, the first law of thermodynamics. So there we can see we can put the piece of iron into glasses to heat it up and then find the specific heat of these glasses. So now we can see uh, in this case the energy is totally converted, right? So no energy lose. So we can say we can get the initial heat and the final heat and then we can find it. So now we list what is known quantities. First one, the mass of this piece of iron is given. We write it as MFE, write it there. And the initial, uh, the temperature is 180 centigrade, initial temperature. And then the final temperature for the system is 38 degree. So we can write the temperature changes as delta T, Fe, as 1452 centigrade. Agree? Yes. And the next one, this uh, is placed in a, uh, the mass of aluminum is given. So we write the MAL as 95 gram. So next one, this cup, this aluminum cup contains the glycerins. The mass is given as uh, 250 gram, grams. So we write it there. Right. Now we look at the temperature changes for the aluminum. It tells us the final temperature is 38 degree. Initial temperature is 10. So use the final temperature minus initial temperature. We get the difference. 28 degree. The next one, the temperature changes for the uh, aluminum. You can see initially it's 10. Finally, it's 38. So use the 38 minus 10. Still, similarly, the temperature changes 28 centigrade. Agree? Now we can check our test book, get the specific heat for the iron and aluminum. We write it there. This part, we need to find the specific heat for glass rings. So we don't know it, we write it there. Now we can see uh, the energy is conserved. The initial energy just uh, come from the piece of iron, right? Cm delta T. So we list it there. As a final temperature, the, this heat transferred to the aluminum and the glass rings. So it includes two parts, the heat in the aluminum, C aluminum, M aluminum, delta T aluminum, and also the glass rings. So Cm delta T at zero. Then you can see the heat, heat equals. So we write the function, look like this one. Input all the known quantity inside, we can see the only unknown quantity is about the specific heat for glass rings. Solve it, you can get the answer is as 2305. Thank you.